And you're seeing right behind you, that's what's going to change here soon. Yeah, absolutely, Xavier. A system that's over 700 miles away will be impacting our weather by Sunday afternoon and last thing through Wednesday. So here's the latest information on what we know about this disturbance. It's likely to develop into a depression or storm by Sunday afternoon, in which case, if it does become a storm, then we get the name Nicholas, our 14th named storm of the season. Either way, whether it gets a name or not, it's bringing heavy rain to the region. That's going to be a big concern over the course of this multi-day event where flash flood alerts may be starting to get issued by the time we go through Sunday morning. The system has a 90% chance of developing into a depression or storm as we go through the next 48 hours. And you can see as we zoom on in towards the Bay of Campeche, we do have some robust thunderstorm activity on one side of it. There's still some wind shear interacting with it up aloft coming from a southwesterly direction. So that's keeping it from strengthening right now. There's also some dry air up ahead of it that we've been enjoying here in the Houston metro area the past several days with the sun shining down. It's been warm to hot, but not humid. But that dry air is going all the way down across central Mexico and it's trying to get sucked in towards that general circulation of the system, but it's struggling to do so. If it can keep the dry air away from it and the wind shear goes down, then we have the chance for seeing it strengthen and develop. No matter what, we're going to be seeing it generally it tracking to our north northwesterly direction over time, which could make a possible landfall that center of circulation somewhere along the Texas coastline, anywhere between Corpus Christi to right here in the Houston metro area. It doesn't help, though, that we have a big area of high pressure sitting over the southeast, same one that's been giving us such nice weather the past several days, moving down this region and helping to bring that tropical system up across the Texas coastal areas. So as we move forward in time, watching the Euro model right here, we can see we have by Sunday afternoon through the evening hours rain showers are starting to push on in even though that general center of circulation is just off the Mexican coastline by several hundred miles south of the Texas border. Heading in through Monday afternoon towards the evening hours, there we have that closed center of circulation right there, just south of Corpus Christi, bringing heavy rain just in towards the Matagorda Bay area. Houston's getting moderate rain. By the time we go through Monday and into Tuesday, we're still dealing with heavy rain for multiple hours. System is now pushing in towards Louisiana. We're starting to get, though, on the back end of it, drier air, pushing on down across the region. And so by Wednesday afternoon towards Thursday, we're slowly starting to see those rain chances fade away. But nonetheless, we're still going to be seeing some high rainfall totals. Some isolated spots could pick up 10 inches or more, especially right along the coastal areas. The further north and west you are towards College Station, for instance, you're likely to see a few inches of rain. Now, the flood threat throughout the day today is non-existent, but by tomorrow, it'll start to increase, and then by Monday, it'll start to push further north and west over time. For the time being, though, it's a beautiful evening out there. Clear skies up in Galveston. Temperatures in the upper 70s, feeling that way as well. As we go throughout the overnight hours, we keep those skies clear, the air nice and pleasant. Then heading on in towards the seven-day forecast, that is where we start to see everything going downhill. Xavier, you're going to need to break up the umbrella, the rain galoshes perhaps, or maybe just stay home and stay nice and dry heading into Monday. 100% chance of a soaker, and we'll keep those high rain chances around through Tuesday as well. Yeah.